Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor and Unity. We're at GDC and they did their conference on what you can expect from Unity 6 and all the features that have not been announced before that are coming up. So I'm going to take this video to sum it all up and give you everything that you need to know in the quickest time possible. I want you to comment down below on exactly what you think of the features that are coming up and also tell me what things do you think really need improving. They've announced various features about long-term support for all pipelines when it comes to Unity 6, looking at multiplayer and all the improvements you can see there, all the productivity tools with Unity Cloud, looking at all the new AI tools and there's some really awesome ones coming up too, and improvements to the UI and the editor to make your experience so much better and even looking beyond that. So 60% of you guys are now using Unity 22 LTS or above for any new project and they've announced that there's going to be 60 new features coming to Unity 6. And Unity 6 Preview will be out very soon and it is production ready so of course everything still has bugs. It's something that they support for you to build your next project on. They did say that in Unity 6 that URP and HTRP will be default pipelines that when you make a new project they will recommend. Although the built-in render pipeline will have longer term support across Unity 6 and even past LTS. Who knows in the future that we might see that slowly slowly phase out. And you can see that most people who released games in 2023 were using scriptable render pipelines. So URP, HDRP, N2D or 3D. And then over 50% are actually releasing for mobile and XR platforms in that period of time. I've got a bunch of videos that I'll put down below, which showcase all their new samples, which is their URP 3D samples with four different scenes across mobile, VR, PC and console. You can get that in Unity Hub and the 2D Happy Harvest project, which is fully 2D with loads of cool effects and then other shader graph based examples, procedural lighting and water effects that you can get in HDRP. Now I did do a full breakdown and I'll put the link below too, which went into detail of all the specific features of Unity 6, which the biggest improvements they're making, but they announced a resident GPU draw where you can render much larger worlds and save on CPU performance by bringing that all across automatically using the GPU. So you save an awful lot then, then GPU based occlusion culling, but this is automatic or it can be dynamic to be able to reduce overdraw and other things that happen in your scene. And then a new feature called spatial temporal post-processing, which again optimizes via GPU GPU and then your upscaler to deliver high resolution content from lower resolution sources so to make everything more performant as you go along. And while you're learning about Unity 6, come and support the channel and get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects on Patreon. And I've got a massive list down in the description so you can find out there too. They did talk about big improvements to shader graph and visual effects graph and the user experience with default templates. You'll be able to now add a post processing to shader graphs to create your own. And they will also have features like adaptive probe volumes, which will be simplifying the process of applying that. So you can put indirect lighting across the scene and removing from their default system. They've got a time of day system, which allows you to do a day or night or different atmospheric scattering and other advanced features that you would never able to do before. You would have to write it all custom. And then the GPU based light mapper, which lets you bake lighting and architecture and optimize GPU on much lower end hardware too. So you can make that much faster because it's something that they've struggled with for a long, long time. They announced improvements to SpeedTree and SpeedTree 9.5 and above with a brand new importer. And I know some people might be interested in this and some not others because it's an additional cost on top, but it is improvements to all the rendering workflows along with that to introduce new vegetation and other systems. Unity showed their new AI features and of these AIs, if you want to know more, I've got videos that I've also created on texture, chat, and sprite which help you make a range of things from making realistic 3d textures which is suitable for pbr make 2d sprites for obviously 2d games and they've got new additions which will all be coming to the editor muse animate to create animations in a more humanoid style and they've got muse sound in the work which will allow you to create sound effects based on your prompts and then Muse 3D, which you'll be able to take a UV mapped model that you've already created and to do quality PBR textures for that asset. And because they'll be integrated in the Unity editor, I know a lot of people want to be able to use the AI to actually make Unity do things on your behalf. It will have some element of understanding your projects, i.e. if there's an error that comes up in the console, it will be able to point to where in your script that this may be an issue, but it won't be able to control specific features yet and who knows whether that'll come in the future. And for those interested in Sentis, so they're bringing new features so you can bring the AI into any game loop and any game 
and integrate that in interesting ways, like in their example, to control gesture controls using AI frameworks and the ability for it to learn from there. I wanted to touch on the productivity improvements because I think they're really useful. They'll be adding brand new project-wide input actions so you won't actually have to create WASD for walking and moving. They'll have improved job profiling to track dependencies between jobs. They'll have addressables and presets to be able to build your content much more easily across platforms. And they did mention their Unity Cloud services, so you'll be able to share work models and everything within your projects much easier if you don't want to store them locally on the machine. And they're adding improvements which are coming soon for more collaboration, i.e. to introduce version control and comments and different things so you can make it much more easier to get everything going. Unity did announce a load of different multiplayer features where I don't usually touch multiplayer features, but they seem really, really centered around improving this. And they've got a brand new multiplayer center, which will help people who have never done it before with templates to be able to tick and add features, which you think might be relevant to your project, and then be able to go back to this process when you add new things as your project moves along. There's a brand new play testing mode where you've got multiplayer instances, which allow you to do play testing on multiplayer across the same device so you can have multiple instances of the game opened up so you have much easier testing they're integrating unity relay which we can get somebody else to join and test much more easily and this includes being able to integrate dedicated servers in this whole process so you make this so you can test yourself you can test with others and you can test on a dedicated server exactly how you need and they're introducing something called distributed authority which will reduce the workload of a server and put that onto clients where possible to increase performance when you've got very large worlds they're also introducing some awesome quality of life features which include skill-based matchmaking so you can choose things that are based on your game i.e how many wins do the players have what loadouts they're using you can set your own parameters and then they're integrating a lot of moderation and safety features with safe voice safe text and a moderation platform which will filter out toxic behavior in however you see that to be an issue then looking at some really awesome editor improvements they're going to introduce a build profiles you can have different build settings for different platforms you can have different scene lists and all things like that which will make it so easy because that's the said that the biggest pain point a lot of users have had and there'll be a brand new platform browser to be able to switch platforms more easily without it being clogged down in exactly what you don't need to know there'll be brand new mobile web support so you can test your games more easily on the web there'll be web gpu in the unity 6 beta which will now include visual effects graph and brand new ability support shaders across web platforms with increased performance and they're going to have integration with instinct games from facebook and messenger so you'll be able to launch your games directly on those platforms from unity and they also mentioned with unity 6 that build times will be improved and they've noticed a 50 percent faster build time across this performance and then they touched on xr and ar foundations which they'll add brand new occlusion support vulcan support also with everything and they'll add a brand new feature called composition layers which take a normal ui which you can convert and make it less blurry from a distance so you can read it they'll have a brand new multiplayer vr template and they have play on device support for vision os and apple vision pro and then they mentioned the updates for the future which they are going to be working on in a much longer term period there'll be brand new improvements to the ecs platform bringing game objects and entities closer together there'll be a brand new animation system created for unity 6 and beyond which will be based from the ecs platform which means you can have more characters on screen more animations and then actually be able to create world building with terrains and other support which will also be built around ecs to make your development so much easier and there will be modernizing unity's foundation with core clr which will be improvements to iteration times which will make the editor faster you'll be able to faster reload your code and much simpler ide integration you'll have better runtime optimization garbage collection and frameworks with future improvements to c sharp and versions of dotnet 
so you'll always be up to date with the best performance that you can possibly have. And you can check out all the links below and I'll put this conference that was out by Unity, which is around 45 minutes down below and give me some thoughts down below on exactly what you think. Come and check out my Patreon to get access to over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And do be sure to check out all the links below for all the sales, savings and everything you can find in game dev for this month. Big thanks to all my patrons, massive thank you to Peter Steiner and everybody else who comes to watch the video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.